Um, what brings you here to the Hotel Bethlehem tonight? Well, this fabulous art opening. Bill Hutters is uh, exhibiting here in the 1741 room at the Hotel Bethlehem. He's one of the artists that we're proud to say we represent at E. David Gallery, right down the street. All of what I do is done directly from life, so I don't use photographs or assistants or anything like that. Everything I paint from, I'm, I'm looking at directly while I'm painting it. But there's something that I really like about painting directly from observation. There's something that the human eye picks up that a camera misses. So that's really what I'm interested in, is the, the way that the actual perception of the human eye works. And it, I think it also gives the paintings a sense of warmth or a sense of uh, some sort of personal effect. As, as opposed to the camera, which is much colder. He's painted some of the most exquisite pieces. Now on the walls of many of the art patrons in and around the Lehigh Valley. Well, when we started with 1741, this new venture, we wanted to be something new. We wanted to be something different that hotel that uh, the hotel didn't have before and that Bethlehem itself didn't have before. So a couple of things that we did was created a different menu, a three-course menu that not, not, not other people have, uh, a very good wine list implementing a, a really good wine program, and of course, trying to bring local artists in so people from Bethlehem get to enjoy also not only the, the beautiful view from, from historic Bethlehem, but the artists from, hotel, from uh, Bethlehem itself. I live in Bethlehem. Uh -huh. I would, was living in New York for the past 15 years, but I moved here recently to concentrate more on my painting and teaching career. I teach at uh, Seton Hall University in New Jersey. I think light is really sort of the unifying force for the work. Um, so a lot of what goes on throughout art history is, is um, discussions of subject matter and style and things like that. But the thing for me that really translates and carries over um, throughout art history is, is light and the different qualities of light like Cezanne and Vermeer. They're very different painters, but what they're really working with is a quality of light. Um, so for me, I think that's something that I'm also trying to get at and do that in more of a contemporary way, which really doesn't mean I'm trying to be contemporary, but it's just I'm painting the light of today. That's something that really carries the work for me, is, is trying to achieve that quality of light. And it's, it's impossible to describe or point to or, you know, say exactly what it is, but that's the, that would be the main thing with my work. Well, since I used to live in Manhattan, I was admiring the view from, I, th I think that's uh, Long Island City. I call it November rain, and uh, right, that's about six feet by five feet. And uh, I did that on a, a very rainy, obviously rainy, overcast day in New York. And there's always one painting I want to keep going um, that, I, that I'm working on when it's a rainy day. So it's sort of like my painting for a rainy day. Yeah, and um, it really came out really nice. I was really happy with the atmosphere and everything that, that, was, uh, that was depicted in that painting. That's my favorite, probably, yeah. Oh, yours it's too? Really beautiful. We should buy it then. Do you have enough money? We'll buy it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm really influenced a lot by the things I read and the things I listen to. So I'm always interested that no one ever asks me what I, asks me what I listen to when I paint. Okay. Which is, you what know, you listen to when you <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> I listen to actually a lot of contemporary pop music, like Pixies, Fall, and um, what else? The Replacements. A lot of music from the '80s that has a lot of energy, and that's kind of like coffee for me. And then I also listen to a lot of contemporary classical music, like John Adams. Elliot Carter, people like that. So those are my other influences. Yeah. So if we ever drop by your studio, we can expect to hear that music. Yes, very loudly.
we can see the, the background that is very historic, the buildings, everything back from the 20s, and then we see this wonderful new artist bringing a complete different uh, aspect of, of history, a complete different aspect of art and contemporary feeling to the room, just so we have that contrast. His work is just spectacular. He's a very, very well-respected, uh, uh, seasoned professional artist. I mean, no question about it. Have the best of art, have the best of wine, and have the best of food all together in this room. We have, a, I think, about five or six pieces, a couple of buildings down the block at, the, at our gallery that uh, we have of Hutters, as well as some of the other artists that we represent. Our, our goal in, in, in this area is to support the art and support the artists that are local to the area as well as some of the artists that are outside of the area but our goal here is to really enrich the area with fine art.